History for Fools with Bush Escobar and Felipe Esparza. Brought to you by the people that said, man, those guys are never going to learn shit. They're always sleeping in the bedroom. Yeah. Making airplanes. I learned, though. I done learned something. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to History for Fools. So, uh, how's it going, Felipe? How was your week? Good, man. Um, I was in um, San Luis Obispo, Yes. Bro. And I was in also in Santa Barbara with you. Yes, both of us were there. Rowdy crowd. I think I got I got the crowd rowdy. Yeah, the dude. First night. The first night uh, was uh, what San Luis Obispo. Those guys were ready to party, man. Yeah, man. I, I was like asking myself, "Don't you ever open up with that line ever again?" And I said, well, "Who who would open with a line like that?" <laughs> oh I said, "I would," because I've been to both towns and I know what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> so I opened up like this. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming out. Then everybody said, oh, God, waiting for the joke. Yeah, man, so glad to be here in San Luis Obispo. This morning, I was in the worst part of San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria, and everybody went crazy. Yeah, dude, that's... Like, boo, <laughs> ah, like, it, it pumped everybody up, bro. Yeah, dude, yeah, man. That's the thing, Is like, you ever have a joke you have in your head? Like, you say, you go... Like on the way to the show, and you go, I'm not going to tell that joke. And you try to tell yourself you're not going to tell that joke the whole way to the show. And then you get up and you tell the joke. Yep. I do that all the time. None of my jokes match like that one, by the way. Yeah. Uh, the only time I got the same response as that first joke was when I mentioned another city. Like when a guy goes, um, this guy heckled me. He said, Felipe, welcome to the 805. And then I said, um, oh, I thank you, man. We got the mayor of Carpinteria here. Yeah, I saw that. And, dude, and that again, was hilarious, they died. dude. Yeah, because that guy was harassing everybody the whole night. Everybody, man. Yeah, that guy was ripped, dude. They were ripped. And there were people who were standing up during the show like just to like say things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's the thing is that... Uh, it's always, it's always the crowds. People are always like, "What are Felipe crowds like?" Whenever I go somewhere, they're like, and "I'm like, it depends where you're at, man." Like some crowds are like crazy, and then some chill and and having a good time, and then some are just like rowdy, man. The crowds that are crazier are where the places I've never been to before, and it's already been sold out for like three months. <laughs> For real, dude. And those guys don't know the openers are, nothing. They're going to just be like heckling, yelling my name out. Yeah, dude. Felipe. Yeah. Where were we when they were yelling uh, at Chuck, dude? Oh, uh, man. It was probably uh, somewhere in Washington. We were somewhere, and they were calling him a colonizer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's... Chuck is like the furthest thing. They didn't even give him a chance. They just saw this old white dude go up. And you ever see Chuck Bartel? <laughs> but, but Chuck Bartel is someone you could see wearing a red coat, eh? Yeah, yes. Well, if you see him at first, bro, you're like, this guy is just, this is the whitest dude I've ever met and probably the nerdiest guy. And then when he tells his jokes, it's like, holy fuck, bro, they're so good. But they didn't even give that guy, that poor guy, a chance. I watched it because he was like... And the night before, they called him pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was in Tacoma, right? Yeah, as, yeah, soon, as, in... as soon as he went out, he went out. <laughs> Dude, and Chuck handled it with grace too, bro. He really did, man. He really did. That shit was hilarious, dude. Yeah, I get that. Uh, right away, they start yelling shit out at me. So it's like... I, I do my best, but, man, that shit's hilarious. It rained all weekend when we, were, when we were over there. It rained crazy, dude. They had a flood warning during your time. Uh, when I was on stage. Yeah. And my phone kept going on. Burr, 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 yeah, they were having a flood I, warning. I didn't know what was going on. So with that bubble. Oh, and um, I checked Alex. my phone. Flood warning. And... um. So I had to go through my, I remember when I was doing a show in, where was it at? It was in um, Napa Valley, Napa. And then we, they got flood warnings there, and they were wondering if they're going to 
still have the show because it, a lot of the town was flooded already. And the theater was about to flood too. So um, I, I saw the audience halfway through the show. You know, I'm glad you guys all came to the show, man, sold out. The manager was scared that we're not going to have a show because the theater might be flooded. They don't know what to do, you know. And I told her, don't worry about it, man. I'm pretty sure one of my fans in this audience is going to be a plumber. <laughs> He'll do it for a t-shirt. Yeah, easily. <laughs> Hell That's no. Funny, dude. Fucking probably charge you three grand for the yeah, whole job. Yeah, no way, dude. To fix that, dude. Like, a theater would probably... The, um, I don't think we were, like, in danger of getting flooded where we were at, but they were saying flash floods. <clears throat> and that was in Santa Barbara. That was in Santa Barbara, and we were driving home that night. I remember because, like, you were on stage and they were saying, like, uh, flash floods only leave if you're in danger of drowning. I was like, whoa, how fucking bad is it getting out there? Drowning? Yeah, dude. Did you get, you remember, do you remember getting that? You, you, that was on your phone, only leave if you're in danger of drowning? Yes. Dude. In Santa Barbara? Yeah, well, you were on stage. I was like, bro. I'm glad they didn't read it when I was on stage, bro. It, it, I would have thought I was bombing it, and they it, all knew. <laughs> like the whole weather system knew. <laughs> Felipe, that last joke, don't do it again. Everybody shelter in place, Felipe is bombing. We're about to send the National Navy. What is funny, though, is that it end, the uh, warning ended at the same time you got off. Because I remember watching that. I was Only wondering. leave if you're drowning. Yes, like if you're in danger of drowning. How, what if you're like already sinking in and you're like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. You know what? It's time I might as well just go in my car. <laughs> That's it. That's a boat now. <laughs> Only if you're drowning, me. <laughs> in danger. Let me walk to my. Let me swim to my car where there's no more water there, eh? Right? And drive away. <laughs> Maybe I could. The water's the at water. your like neck, and you're like, I could be in danger of drowning. Have you seen that video of the Asian woman with her selfie stick, and there's a tsunami coming after her, and she's running, and there's like people behind her, right? Yeah. And then they crumble behind her. She makes it all the way. Yeah, but she's had a selfie stick the whole time. Yes, dude. Crazy. That shit is crazy, dude. I know that tsunami is pure water coming at you, but I didn't know that it's also lifting dirt off the ground, too, while it's moving water. Yes. It's sucking anything that's in its, it's way. It's taking everything. So the undertow is so strong because so, it's displacement. So in order for that to happen, because I remember watching... Watching survivors, okay, who made it out of the, the tsunami, which is crazy, dude. Um, they said that before the tsunami started, that for they, they looked and the boats were on the ground, bro, and the water had receded all the way to the back. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. So the water receded, and there was, there was like the pier and everything. There was like water on the bottom, right. and then she said that. You could see he fish said he could he could stuff. he could feel in his feet that the the earth the water and everything was trying to suck him into the ocean. Yeah, dude. So that when he started boning out, bro. Yeah, I would too, bro. It's so he started boning up to a high higher dude, land because it's coming back, and it doesn't look like in the movies they have this huge like rushing tidal wave coming in. It doesn't look like that. We started San Francisco, bro. When you're on shrooms. Yes. Holy shit! That's we saw That's the, the little Tokyo one. Yeah, bro, we saw the whole town go down. Right. Yeah, it's um, I that I remember that time watching the, this guy in like the third story of a building, like a, two or three days later. That's fake, bro. And where was the cameraman at? <laughs> that had to be fake, bro. Where was the cameraman at? How come he didn't even, even the camera? He he wasn't even breathing the whole time. <laughs> Who recorded that? It was, it was coming on HD. <laughs> That's it. it was, uh, dude, it was, it, someone planned that. That's right, dude. Yeah, nobody planned a fucking tsunami, dude. That shit just happens. And then it hit the nuclear whatever it was, right? Yeah, it hit Fukushima. But, what, you know, like, uh, I watched a video where it came out, it went out, and these people are in the third story building, and they zoom in to where the coastline is, and you can see, like, no water. And then, I think it's a five-minute video. It's up to the top story, bro, by the time, like, by the end of that video, like, of, of where that person's filming. That shit is, in, that, like, it looks like it's coming in slow, but it, it comes in really fast. You went to Japan after that, huh? Yes, I did. And what, what, what was the word over there? Um, 
there They're was, far, huh? From it was that far. We were we were like f- f- way far south of there when when we were the, both times I was there. Were um, you the biggest person there? In, at, in Japan, at any given time, I was the biggest person in a room. Yeah, finding your shirt impossible. Probably uh, when I was in Okinawa, there was a lot of Marines, so there was some big ass motherfuckers there. But um, when I was in Tokyo, I was it was like the the being on the subway. Uh, sometimes they crunch you onto the subway. Uh, it's like all these people like below me. Can you, can you turn the thing on? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Put in. Welcome to History for Fools. Yo. Yo. Don't turn it on. Don't turn it on. Uh oh. What is happening? People who are listening go, man, they, they switch subjects too soon on me. Too soon on me. Too soon on me. Dude, that's a really good play on words. We're, are we still live? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, we're live right we're now. We're still live I didn't right know now. we're live. I ring the bell, though, but... So okay. What are people saying? They're saying what's up, talking about um, PO5, they were there. Oh, that nice, dude. Right. Shout out to everybody that came this weekend. And then shout out to everybody that came up to me, especially because I always love this, when people are like, hey, man, I love the podcast. It's dope. Girl's mad he didn't get a picture with Butch. Nice, dude. I'm sorry about that. That feels good though. That someone's You're a mad diva now, a bro. With me, huh? You're a diva now. No, no. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't mean, dude. I wish I got a picture with you, bro. Anytime, come so up only, to me. Only chicks with boobs now, huh? I will say that no, I not chicks with boobs. Um, if anybody comes up to me, if you message me on Instagram, I'm still. Like, I'll meet you somewhere for a photo. Yeah, I'm, dude. Come to the improv. I'm there almost every weekday if I'm not with Felipe, so... Uh, we'll go live for another minute, and then we'll start. Like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, that, that, yeah. That's a perfect date, man. You, you're late to a show. You know, you want to take your wife somewhere, your lady, and it's, you, you, you remember, oh, I wonder if Butch is working tonight. Yes. You show up there, man, with 80 bucks. You get him to bu- put in Butch's pocket. Butch will walk you in and give you the best seat in the house. <laughs> I can't say that that I'll I'll take the money. I'm uh, just saying. But I will give you. Here's the thing. I did have a uh, fan already come up and say what's up, and I wish that I had his name because he asked if I could give him a shout out. I will later. I'll give you your name. Uh he came up and he said he was a fan of the show. His wife wasn't with him. Uh, she had to stay his home. Sancha was. And so it was just him. And I said, "Hang out here, man." As soon as the show starts, <clears throat> and I got him the best seat in the house. All right, hey. I'll take your money. History for fools, man. And um, listen to the rest of the podcast when it comes out. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for, Thanks for watching, live. guys. Thanks for watching the live. All right, man. Cool. That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, okay. man. Oh, man. Um, 